Hi, I'm Shayla Bett with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to show you a song that we do um, during circle time for our pumpkin unit that we're studying. Um, it can be done one of two ways. We'll do it um, the uh, easiest way first. Um, it's done to the tune of Who Took the Cookie from the Cookie Jar. Some of you may know this song as Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar, but um, we don't use the word stole. We just say took the cookie from the cookie jar, but this is Who Took the Pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. And um, you need to lay some ground rules down that um, each child can only be called once. Um, some people pick the same person over and over, but for this we want everybody to have a chance and participate in this song. So each child can only be ca called once. And you start by slapping your hands on your legs and then clapping so you have a beat like this. And there we go. Who took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch? And then the teacher would call out a child's name. Um, she would lead, he or she would lead um, by picking out the child's name. So it would be, who took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch? Cheryl took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. And then Cheryl would say, who me? And all the other children would say, yes, you. And Cheryl would say, not me. Then all the children would say, then who? And then Cheryl would pick somebody else to um, call for the pumpkin patch. So Cheryl would say, Eric took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? And then Eric would pick out somebody else. And it would go on until you reach the end of the last student, or the last student. And the last student would say, I took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch, and it was yummy. And that's the way it would end. That's um, where everybody gets a chance. That's that version. The second version would be to use a pumpkin, and the teacher would start out by everyone would have to close their eyes, and the teacher would hide the pumpkin behind somebody's back. And nobody is supposed to know, except for the person you tap the person on the back who has the pumpkin behind them. And um, you start out the same way, same clap and slap. Bobby took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. Who me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? And Bobby would pick somebody else. Shanna took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch. Who me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? And it goes on and on until the person who actually has the pumpkin um, behind them reaches behind their back and says, I took the pumpkin from the pumpkin patch and it was yummy. So you could do it either way. This, with the way with the pumpkin patch, not everybody's, or the pumpkin behind them, not everybody's going to have a turn during a single play. So you would have to do the um, um, pumpkin patch song all over again. But to make it fair for everyone to have a turn, you could just do it without the pumpkin and do a run round until everybody's name has been called. It's really fun. It's great for name recognition and um, children learning other people's names. Um, the patterns and the words for the song can be found on my website at childcareland.com under the video section. And I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. And thanks for watching.